Welcome back to Active Chiropractic guys and today I'm going to show you some exercises you can do for your knees in the pool. Now if you're going through osteoarthritis or you're going to go for surgery or if you already had surgery, even if you're pregnant, these exercises will be fantastic for you because you've got buoyancy, you've got dynamic resistance and you've got hydrostatic pressure as well. Now buoyancy is when you walk in the water, even if you're at waist level, 50% of your body weight is actually taken off because there's pressure from the water pushing you up. Now dynamic resistance is the resistance of water when it presses against you when you move and it can also strengthen your body up and your joints. And hydrostatic pressure is the pressure of the water against your joints. They're pushing against the skin of your joints. So it limits lactic acid buildup and also limits inflammatory process of the osteoarthritis, if you have osteoarthritis. Now I did these exercises and I actually pulled up a little bit sore. So I can imagine you guys will get a little bit sore as well. Let's start with the easiest exercise, pool walk. This is pretty self-explanatory. If you're having trouble doing this, especially if you just had surgery, just use the side of the pool to help you. This will build proprioception, mobility in the joints, and strengthen your joints as well. Even reduce pain and the inflammatory process in arthritis. Pool walking backwards. This will mainly work the knee and knee extension, which is fantastic for VMO strengthening. I highly recommend this if you've got osteoarthritis and you need rehab. Side walking. This is very similar to the previous exercises. However, you're mainly working on the outside of the knee and the inside of the knee as well, which is very important to keep knee stability and very important to strengthen as well. Remember to go back and forth. Once again, start with the pool walk to help assist you, especially if you just had surgery. Jogging on the spot or knee raises. This will create motion in your knees and blood flow into your joints as well. The act of bending and extending your knees will do that. And the buoyancy of water will lessen the impact on your joints. Static squats. You basically go in the squat position, having your feet shoulder width apart, and try and lower yourself as low as possible until your thighs are parallel to the pool floor. Hold this position for about 30 seconds to a minute and focus on VMO contraction, which is the muscle just above your knee on your inner thigh. This will give you stability and strengthen your knee joints. Body weight squats. Assume the same position as your previous exercise and try to squat below parallel and then push yourself up. And if you can't go parallel, just go as low as possible. And if you're too short, just do it on top of a step-up box instead. This way your head won't go under the water. Leg extensions. These work on both legs. The one that keeps you balanced will gain strength and stability. Make sure you concentrate on activating your VMO muscle with your leg extended. The leg that is extended will be strengthened and create some active mobilization of the knee, especially in this position because your hamstrings will be stretched as well. When you extend your knee out, make sure you activate your VMO muscle. This will strengthen your knees and create active mobilization of the knee. Static knee extensions. This is definitely a tough one and it will test your flexibility. It will work on your hamstrings and strengthen your VMO. Try to keep your legs straight out and your knees locked in. And if you're really up to the challenge, lean against the wall and keep your back straight. This will create more of a stretch in your hamstrings. Stepping lunges. So these are a bit like static lunges, but you step with one foot after the other and you lunge each time. Try to have each knee bent at 90 degrees. This will build up your knee strength VMO, stability and mobility as well. Lateral lower limb stretch. Stand against the wall. With your opposite hand, grab the opposite foot. Try to keep your legs straight as possible. If you're having trouble keeping your knees straight, this is an indication that you need to work on your hamstrings and your ITB and the TFL muscle on your lateral side on the outside of your leg. Gradually work towards your whole leg being straight. This mainly works on the flexibility of the knee and it's fantastic for post-surgery. Noodle stepping. Make sure the noodle is evenly balanced on one foot, then push the noodle down. Concentrate on contracting your VMO muscle. This will strengthen your knees and create mobility again in the injured knee. It will also work on the balancing knee as well. For example, proprioception and strengthening. Noodle knee extensions. Have the needle evenly balanced around your furthest part of your shin whilst having your other leg nice and straight and supporting you. Now kick your bent leg forward almost to the point that it will go straight and then retract it back into a bent position. Concentrate on working your inner quadriceps. Once again, this works on your VMO muscles and your mobility as well. Knee pendulum swings. First try with a bent knee and when you're ready, use a straight leg. Make sure the noodle is well balanced under your foot and the resistance to the water will work against your ligaments on your knee, allowing you to focus on the muscles that will stabilize the knee. Sway it from side to side. Do about 20 of these. Box steps. Use a sinkable box. Use one foot to lead and step onto the box with the other one following. Then step over again with the same foot. Then do this backwards. An easier way to do this is simply just step up on the box and back down. Remember to use both legs. This will work on your VMO and the stabilizing muscles in your knee. Box side taps. By tapping on the side of the box, it will assist you getting up on the box. This exercise once again will allow you to build knee stability and knee strength on the inner and outer side of the knee. Standing on the wobble board. Just stand on the wobble board or pad with your legs straight and your knees locked in. Make sure you activate and concentrate on contracting your VMO muscle, which is the muscle just above your knee on the inner thigh. Try to keep balance for 30 seconds to a minute. This will work on proprioception, stability, and a little bit of strength. One leg squat, this is pretty hard to do, so leave it last. Balance on one leg and the other leg in front of you. Bend down until your thigh is almost parallel to the pool floor. 
If you can't do this, just go as low as possible and push back up again, contracting your VMO and your glutes as well. This trains your knee strength and balance. And if you're up to the challenge, try to keep the other leg nice and straight in, in front of you and point your toes and contract your other VMO on your straight knee. Squats on the wobble pad. Stand on the wobble pad and try to squat to the point where your thighs are almost parallel to the floor. And once again, if you can't, just go as low as possible. This will work on proprioception, stability and strength. This is fantastic for post-surgery or knee injuries. One-legged squats on the wobble board. Do this exercise last, since it's very hard. Try to keep one leg in front of you with your knee locked out and nice and straight. Whilst on the wobble board, try to squat as low as possible. Remember the contract the VMO muscle. This will strengthen the VMO muscle on each knee and the hamstring flexibility on the straight leg. And it will definitely challenge your proprioception on the bending knee. Flipper exercise is probably the hardest exercise of them all. Let's start with flipper walking. Just walk with the flippers up and down the pool once or twice and the resistance of the pool will work against your knees. And remember, focus using your VMO muscles. Try walking backwards as well, as these both will work on your strength of your knees, proprioception and stability. Kickboard with the flippers. The kickboard will allow you to stay afloat. Hold a kickboard in front of you and start kicking. This is kind of like a repetitive leg extension exercise. And when you're ready, try doing it backwards. Remember to contract your VMO and your quadriceps and straighten your legs straight out with every kick. This exercise will gain muscle and mobility in your knees. Once these are too easy for you, try to do them without flippers. Then without flippers and a kickboard as well. Treading water with flippers. This exercise is very hard. It requires you to kick yourself to propel yourself into the surface of the water. You are also required to use your arms to keep balance by pushing the water back and forth. Do this for 30 seconds to a minute, three to four times. This will work on your mobility of your knees, your core, your buttock, your VMO and your hamstrings as well. Flipper kicks with your back against the wall. This is incredibly tough on the knees since you're actually not moving anywhere and the force of the wall will work against your knees as well. And remember to concentrate on working on your VMO and contracting those quadriceps. Try to do this slowly at first and do it fast later on, otherwise you will tire yourself out. If this is too hard for you, face the wall, have your hands against the side of the pool and then kick towards the wall instead. Noodle bicycle kicks. Depending how heavy you are, you can use one, two or three noodles to sit on to keep you afloat. Once you're balanced, slightly lean back and kick your legs out in front of you. You will slowly move backwards. Remember, contract your VMO muscle, which is the inner upper part of your knee. Do one or two laps. Noodle walking. Balance each noodle on the bottom of your foot and start walking. Try walking backwards as well. Remember to push the noodle down with each step contracting the VMO muscle. This will work on the strength of your knees, proprioception and stability as well. Noodle side walking. This is very similar to the previous exercise. You can use the line on the bottom of the pool or the side of the pool to guide you along the way. Remember to walk back and forth from different sides. This will work on the inner thighs and the outer thigh muscles, which is very important to keep stabilization of the knee, especially pre-surgery or post-surgery or even after injury. Pool noodle back kicking. Use two or three pool noodles, wrap it around you and lean back. This will help you keep afloat. Once you balance, start kicking. Try to extend your leg as much as possible with every kick. This will work on mobility and your VMO muscle. Do one or two laps. Guys, remember to check out my other pool video and also my other VMO exercise video as well. And remember, support my channel, hit subscribe, hit like, comment below if you have any questions or tell me what you like about this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.